Hi Virgo, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I've made some changes to this channel where I'll be posting all 12 individual sign readings once a week and live stream every now and then. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear this week. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Today is the 25th of January, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 12.41 p.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. What's coming up for Virgo this week? Virgo, I love you guys so much. Ooh, I like the Ten of Cups. And if you don't know, I do have a Virgo only channel. Link is in the description box below. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field this week. And for some of you, this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, and in the future. Queen of Wands and Mulverse, I see you ignoring a lot of people this week. <laughs> but the Queen of Wands and Mulverse also could be a hater. So you might have haters. I mean, most people have haters, right? So, but the Queen of Wands and Mulverse hmm, makes me feel like the haterism energy is going to be much stronger this week okay much more prominent and then we've got the ten of cups in an upright position now the queen of wands in reverse if you're embodying the queen of wands in reverse that means you, there is somebody you could be ignoring right knight of cups in reverse a pisces cancer scorpio could be any sign um knight of wands in reverse could be a fire sign as well aries sagittarius leo judgment this week, for some of you, might you might just make a very important judgment call to ignore this person or, or leave this person behind, okay? Some of you is romantically connected, some of you is not, okay? Just take what resonates with you. We've got the full right here, a new beginning starting from zero. So I like... I like how this is progressing. Okay, Virgo, this week you're going to feel much more stable for once. Um, Ten of Cups, you're going to feel much more emotionally fulfilling this week. Maybe because either you've, you, you're getting your freedom or you're buying a new house or you're start, starting a new family or starting a new um, romantic connection. Um, or even adopting a pet, moving into a new place, just whatever it is, it's starting something new, okay? The full. And it looks really, really good, Virgo. Or just a new journey. It could be a metaphor um, where you are leading uh, towards, you're moving towards stability and happiness. Because the Empress is also uh, right here, Virgo. I love the Empress. I always see the Empress as you. Virgo, Mother Earth, growth, any case growth. So it could mean um, you making more money um, this week or getting help with finances for those of you Virgos who need help financially. If not, there's some sort of a growth, but it could also mean spiritual growth, you know, feeling more complete, uh, feeling appreciated. But Virgo, Virgo. The lovers here is in reverse. So there is this, it makes me feel like there is like this separation where you could be separating yourself from others this week. Separating from people who don't serve your highest good. Separating from people who, who judge you or judge you, judge you incorrectly. Separating yourself from haters, right? Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, separating yourself from people who don't take actions towards you, don't talk to you, you know, all of the stuff that I feel because you're going to know your worth and your value right this week. But it could also be Spirit's way of saying if you don't know your worth and your value, you got to know your worth and your value, okay? Perhaps it's time to make a very serious judgment call this week to separate yourself from anybody who doesn't serve your highest good anymore, anybody who doesn't see your worth and your value, okay? 
Six of Pentacles and Love Furs. Yeah, people who don't reciprocate um, your kindness. Let's see more Virgo. And judgment sometimes can indicate somebody from the past coming back around. Or you might, you might hear from this person. Okay. Or you might decide to tell this person something once and for all now the moon the moon can indicate some of you you may be doubting what's happening in your life where where it's going but the ten of cups here makes me feel like you you're gonna come to a conclusion where um even though the ten of cups is about you know the future but it's also it feels more like ah oh, in hindsight that kind of an energy in hindsight it's like uh, why why was i even worry worrying about this why did i not even feel confident about this queen of wands and whatever is confident about yourself or about a situation or about an outcome of a situation right doubts will be cleared because judgment is right here and we've got the world page of pentacles and love first a chapter is closing some is a smaller chapter some is a bigger chapter this week and I, I like that it's right next to the four wands so this new chapter is going to liberate yourself from any sorts of burden unhappiness even insecurities um low self-esteem okay page of pentacles in love first page of cups somebody whom has been kind of quiet lately you might hear from them with the page of cups the cherry here in one first the higher font a new set of commitment but it's it's like a new commitment but it's you committing to something that you have to be very structured or very disciplined for some of you i'm seeing you also making like a vision board if you're not doing that it's basically encouraging you to make a vision board you can go on google google on youtube <laughs> and then you can search for how to make a vision board effectively because there are wrong ways to do it but there there are also like really effective ways to do a vision board i used to have vision vision boards but my mom was always you know snooping around i couldn't even have a diary i couldn't journal because if i was to journal or have a diary or if i make any vision board my mom will come into my room but now i'm not staying with my mom anymore but i still have that trauma <laughs> of somebody seeing my things like my secrets my confessions even my vision board i don't want anybody to see it it's my vision it's mine right but because my mom would always and then she would laugh at it, you know. She would be like, remember in your diary you wrote this? Ha, 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 ha. She would laugh, right? So it made me stop writing. But I love to write, right? I had a, I had a scholarship in journalism, actually. But I didn't go for it. I didn't, ex I, I didn't take it. I didn't take the offer. But I just love writing. But I, I feel like Virgo for some of you. This week, Spirit could be encouraging you to have this vision board, the Hierophant. The way I'm looking at it, it's like something that the Hierophant can indicate having faith as well, you know, having faith and making it happen. It has to be a combination of both, as in you have this vision of where you want to get to, but also putting it down either in writing or having a vision board will will help you will help you um will help will help you or will help it come true okay <laughs> that's what i'm seeing here now virgo the hierophant again can indicate commitment for some of you there could be some of you only virgo okay not all of you because this is a general reading and i keep stressing this in each and every one of my readings it's because it's a general reading so don't take it word for word if you want a personal reading which is highly accurate i've not had one person telling me it's not accurate um you can book me 
and all of the information is in the description box below you can either choose like a live video call with me or two to three days of emergency reading pre-recorded readings unless if you want to catch me during my live stream that's for the ones who don't mind that there, is, there isn't much privacy and but it's for those of you who are on a budget okay but anyway Virgo the moon you might feel currently feels like that it might feel like with the moon like what's gonna happen with my life what's gonna happen with my love life or what's gonna happen with my finances now for each and every one of you it's different now the queen of wands and one is this energy like i'm not too confident about the future right ten of cups but it will be shown to you with the judgment or you making good judgment calls will actually turn your whatever that is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you into a reality perhaps actions need to be taken but the nine of wands here is in love first so it makes me feel like some of you you could just be dreaming about it thinking about it but not actually taking actions right so for those of you who aren't taking actions spirits could be encouraging you this week to actually start taking actions with a fool here because there's something at the end of the rainbow which is a part of goal right it could also indicate uh, a lot just a lot of happiness i'm seeing right here a lot a lot of happiness a lot of stability but and also that energy of you're not gonna feel alone a sense of belonging like a sense of where you do belong to a community or belong to um somebody okay <laughs> because this is this could be love this could be family marriage two for one some of you are getting married this week if you are getting married this week this week congratulations um in advance because the world here also can indicate now the chapter is closing and if you've been alone there is an opportunity again for you to meet your partner right your future partner but you got to know your self-worth and your, uh, your self-worth and value and you need to take actions towards it sometimes the actions involve needing to separate yourself like cut off these unnecessary energies and then only the new energies will will begin will come to you um, but if you're still hung up on something from your past then it might just delay the process of you meeting somebody new okay but for some of you virgo if you are dating somebody you might feel like this week, hmm, maybe, you know, there needs to be like a discussion with the judgment here, depending how long you've been dating this person. But it feels like there is going to be a decision being made whether to take this connection further or to not continue at all because the lovers here indicates a choice and it's in reverse. So it could be a choice to to take the connection to the next level or a choice to dissolve it, okay? Again, um, to each and every one of you, it's different. Page of Cups, page is a, some sort of a good news that's coming in. And the chariot here is in reverse. I don't know why I'm picking up on Virgo. I'm just giving you an example, a very lame example. Say if your, your flight got canceled, you miss, or you missed your flight, yeah, rather. Uh, you miss your flight and then and then you, you get so frustrated, oh, I missed my flight, blah, blah, blah. But next thing you know, you hear from the news that there was a crash, that there is a crash, like a plane crash. I'm giving you like a very <laughs> morbid uh, example, but it's still, you know, it's something along those lines. This week, for some of you, you might just kind of like feel a bit disappointed or sad because something didn't happen but then you're going to also realize that it didn't happen for a very, very good reason. And you're going to feel so blessed that it didn't happen. It's a blessing in disguise. Okay. The Hierophant can indicate teaching and learning. So some of you are going to be teaching or you're going to be learning, studying. Yeah, being very disciplined, but it could also be a specific way of saying, you know, just be disciplined. Again, the vision board thing, I keep seeing it. So check it out, you know, if it's 
if you'd be interested in studying a vision board. But I would say that this week, Virgo, something will come to light. Um, you're going to make a, a decision. Um, for some of you, it's a decision to separate. And for some of you, it's a decision to come together. To For ones, it's like a reconciliation energy as well. Some of you are spending time with your family, with your friends, with your mom this week. Okay, traveling as well, the world and the fool, not all of you. I'm a Virgo, I'm not traveling. <laughs> Even I get asked to travel, I'm like, no, thank you, because I've been traveling for three years, long enough. I just need to be settled and more grounded. But some good news, yeah. Good news and then Page of Pentacles in Reverse. It's like bad news that actually turns out to be good news, if that makes sense, okay? The Empress, some of you might find out that you're pregnant or some, like a family member is pregnant um, or having a baby. Some of you, because the Empress is somebody whom is perpetually pregnant. But I do see Virgo, a lot of things are going to come to light, okay, this week. But it's whatever the, the case is, it's for your highest good. All right, Virgo, this is your uh, weekly prediction reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. Hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm open for personal readings again. Um, it's important to not take these general readings to heart, okay? Because they're not really accurate and it's made for it's read for the masses so it's impossible to be accurate for each and every one of you so all of the information is in the description box below unless if you like to catch me doing my live stream um and also i think i've already mentioned that i have my virgo only channel so go check out that channel if you don't if you don't know or if you're not subscribed to that channel, I do post very, very often on my Virgo only channel a couple of times a day. So check them out. Take care, Virgo. I hope um, I wish you well and I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. I love you. Bye.